what's going on guys welcome back to the channel thanks again for tuning in and to all the guys i've seen the actual first video of this i appreciate you guys uh um, watching it and you know taking a look at it but as you can see right now i did put the furitech uh, brushless combo in there and it's sitting pretty nicely um, i do have a 400 milliamp or 450 milliamp uh, 2s lipo on there now um, so i was kind of just basically trying to you know figure out the actual positioning as far as like the receiver and the speed control, the wiring, so forth and so on. But um, this servo right here, um, the A332R from Spectrum, it's a sub micro. Um, I've had this on here since I bought the vehicle, but you know, honestly, I feel like sometimes it's not enough torque. So I went ahead and got this new servo, it's an EcoPower Digital Micro. Supposedly, this is a pretty good. And it's digital and it's metal gear, so should be fine. It's nothing like the NSDRC or Reef servos that you guys see out there, but definitely if for a budget build and this thing is <laughs> a money pit at this point. So I definitely went ahead and bought this and also the Samix servo mount for it, just to, there's the part number guys just in case you guys are interested and also fits the Emacs servo from Amazon and you guys can get that over there as well um, but since they had this at the local hobby shop I went ahead and picked this up um, the specs are right there 6 volts at 0.12 seconds at 60 degrees and uh, you can run it up to 8.4 volts and it actually runs at 0.1 seconds at 60 degrees so pretty powerful and I guess pretty speedy little servo um, at this point, the, the kit itself is not that heavy, but you do want something with enough torque to actually push the wheels around and turn it around. And uh, I don't think, I, you know, this is going to last here pretty soon as far as how, you know, heavy the car has been. Um, as you can see, it's sitting nicely now and everything is on there. Um, I did have to balance it out, put some put some weights right there just to help balance out because of the actual uh, um, battery itself so but with the body on uh, let me show you guys I'm sorry guys I'm holding this my phone using it as a camera and trying to film all this at the same time here is the actual body I trimmed it substantially just to make the clearance happen around the wheel wells and also give it you know flexibility at the same time when it's moving around um, the body mounts, the magnet mounts work really well, as you can see. So there it is, sitting pretty. And it's actually tucking the actual servo itself, so you don't really see that as much. Definitely has the clearance on both sides. Yep, clears it. I mean, It'll self uh, self clearance itself <laughs> at one point, but you know, honestly, it works. I've been uh, testing it out with uh, the trimming involved, and uh, doesn't get to uh, it doesn't hang up. So definitely looks good. The stance is very well uh, what I want it to be. I might I might trim this a little bit more, but honestly, this has been uh, performing very well with the killer chassis and the rest of the stuff I put on there like the mantis links as you can see is tucked up underneath there works very well so yeah guys um, let me take this off real fast so you remove it from the back like I said I'm using uh, one hand for all this so I apologize if uh, the video is kind of shaky but as you can see it is as neatly as I can make it you know the Komodo 2204 1400 kV uh, Furitech brushless motor with the Furitech Tegu. Um, I am using a Flysky GT5 controller, best bang for the buck as far as the controller is concerned, and receivers are pretty cheap and affordable. Um, I still have my Airtronic stuff, and you know at that point it's it's kind of a too expensive of a radio to be using on something like this, so. I went ahead and purchased a few of those GT5s so that my son and I can use it also on our 10 scale crawlers. Um, 
so far so good um, as you can see I did mount the the rear yeah it's spinning because I didn't want to over tighten the actual shocks in place and have it bound up so but it works um, the magnet mounts really do the job and I still have a lot of flex um, I did take off my double barrels in the rear and I put the stock HRs back on and the stock HRs are I still need to put some grease in there actually for the most part it is working well and um, the mic uh, just this is my only issue right now is the actual servo so I just want to change it up now before I buy any other things that you know it might need um, I'm all, I was almost debating if I wanted to get the power hobby um, metal drive shafts but then again I don't know if the transmission itself is you know able to handle that and the gears itself is able to handle that and you know with added weight and stuff I kind of wanted to keep it minimal um, yeah guys if you guys have any questions at all feel free to leave a comment down below and if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe help the channel grow I will be doing more stuff like this um, actually in a few days here I will be installing the RC four-wheel drive stamp wheels with the new tires so I'll definitely give those a shot but so far you know, I haven't got my inserts yet from uh, Flubbers, but hit them up on IG. They actually came out with it, um, I think it was yesterday or the day before. Um, it already sold out, so i um, waiting for the next pre-order to come out, and then I'll definitely order those. And as far as the chassis, um, this Saturday, Killer Chassis is actually going to be re releasing a new batch again. So hit them up on IG, and I believe he's selling it on Etsy. So be unaware. On that, on this Saturday, his chassis will come out. This chassis has been performing very well uh, for the little rocks that I have around house. And, you know, honestly, even if I move the rocks around and, you know, change up the layout a little bit, it actually does really well. But, yeah, I want to show you guys some videos of this rolling around. So let me go ahead and possibly do that here just so I show you guys that the body does work with, you know, the chassis itself and it doesn't get hung up and it moves so hold on real quick take you guys to my little rock section outside <laughs> in my front yard thanks again for tuning in i appreciate you guys so let me give you guys a quick video all right guys so here's a little demo of the actual chassis with all of the new mods Still need to get a overdrive gears in the front, which is on the way. Low speed controller, the FuraTech really does the work. Crawls really good. And turn it around. Doing work. Low speed control with the FuraTech is really, really good, so definitely recommend this uh, speed controller. It does really well. Hi 
again guys thank you again for watching and tuning in i appreciate you guys and yeah let me know what you guys think about it see you again next time peace